today I'm bringing you on a tour of a beautiful two-bedroom townhouse in an area called Amasaman Danchira. This is within the greater Accra region. It's probably about an hour and 20 minutes from the airport. Anyways, I cannot wait to show you guys this place. It's very spacious and very, very well done. This area is quiet, lots of new developments going on around here. Without any further ado, let's go and let me show you what this beautiful property looks like. Before we commence our tour, I just quickly wanted to show you what the concept is for this area. This is the plan for the area. This is how it's going to look once it's all complete. The developer is currently putting together multiple two and three bedroom homes within the area. Alright guys, so this is what the compound looks like. Very, very spacious as you can see. You can easily park at least four cars on this compound. It's very, very big, very, very spacious. They've done a little bit of landscaping around here, which is nice. So you can replace the plant or, or keep it as it is nicely done another thing i want to show you before i head inside is they've got security fencing so this is the electric fence that will electrocute you if you try to like jump over so that adds a level of security there's enough space here as well if you wanted to put in a security post so you have additional security but if not there's the fencing which helps a ton let's go around let me show you what the backyard looks like all right guys so we're just going around the side of the house as you can see there's a decent amount of space here for kids to run around if they need to they've done a bit of landscaping on this side as well which makes the property really pretty um, it saves you the headache of having to do all that should you decide to buy this property now we're going down the back so this is the backyard they have a little bit of a backyard here they have backup water just here and then there's an entrance to the kitchen here so this space you can use for an outdoor kitchen if you want or if you're going to be doing fufu and stuff that you don't want cook you don't want to cook on the inside you can definitely do it out here which is nice so it doesn't feel so tight here as well which is nice okay so let's go inside now okay so as you can see they have a very decent sized porch area so you can put like a barricade here if you wanted just to block it off from where you park your cars if not you can keep it open you can definitely put some chairs here some plants and then create a little sitting area out here if you wanted so that's definitely quite nice come on inside all right welcome inside so as you can see they've got security doors here as well which is definitely helpful so these doors are a little hard to break if you decided to you know break into someone's house um the other thing that people like to complain about these uh, metal bars but for ghana it's a very common thing most houses have them and it's for security reasons because if you have these sliding windows and they get broken it's very easy to access your home so just for an extra layer of security people always have these barricades um, so yeah they've got them here as you can see they have some beautiful lights the ceilings is all pop as you can see they have some nice warm lights makes it really nice the living area is also very spacious as you can see very very big you can have like your tv setup and your lounge area here and then you can have like your dining just here as well just here and then underneath the staircase as well you can use for something so you can either do like a storage or you can do you know those really cool bookshelves that they put underneath the stairs you could do that or you could do a little office down here too okay so let's go into the kitchen i like these doors too they're quite nice so this is the kitchen area this is what the kitchen looks like as you can see they have a lot a lot a lot of storage which is nice handy this is a two bedroom like i said this is probably the 10th time i'm saying this but you can definitely live here with a decent sized family because it's very very spacious as you can see this kitchen is wide lots of room to move around it's a fitted kitchen so there's the gas cooker you get a microwave and then you also get an oven and then this is the sink area and this is not like you know the basic cheap sinks that they usually use for homes that they're selling this is like a nice 
um, sink, you know, so you can see that a lot of thought was put in there. In the kitchen area is, as well, it's all POP. So every room that is in this house is POP, which is nice. Here, you can put your fridge as well if you wanted. You could even put more storage here if you wanted because if it's a two bedroom house and you're just buying it for yourself, then you could put more storage here if you wanted. They also have an extractor, which I forgot to mention. And then they have like a little uh, wine cellar just here as well with lighting and everything. It's quite nice. And then they have a storeroom just here as well. Um, they've got some stuff that they're storing in there, but it's a decent sized storeroom. This is the door that leads to the backyard where the backup water is. And then down here is the first um, bathroom. They have a half bathroom here, so your regular sink and your toilets just down here for your visitors. Let's head upstairs. Okay, so here we are heading up the stairs. Nice wide stairs. Um, the stairs are not too high, you know, they're quite short as well, so that helps for people that might be a little bit frail or can't really go upstairs. It's not too high or uncomfortable to get up these stairs, so that's good. Okay, so once uh, you come up to the second, the first floor, there's a family area just here. So you can do another like lounge, you know, with chairs and then a TV and all that. Again, the ceiling is POP, beautiful lights set up here as well, which is nice. It gives this area a nice look. So if you just stand here, the light is right there. There's a window right across from me. So that's letting more light in here as well. Makes it pretty. Okay, so we're going to the first bedroom, decent sized room. As you can see, you can easily have a queen bed or a king bed in here and have enough space to move around, which is nice. And then the other thing is all the rooms have walk-in closets as well. So that's also a plus because most of the time, um, it's only the primary bedroom that has a walk-in closet. All the other rooms will usually just have a wardrobe. So this is like, it allows you a lot of space to store your stuff, which is nice. And then this is the bathroom that's right across from me. So, Again, the regular fittings in a bathroom, toilet, sink, um, mirror, and then there's a shower right across from me as well. I feel like because this bathroom is so big, if you wanted to buy this place, you could do a bathtub if you wanted. You could definitely have space for a bathtub if you wanted. And then the thing that I always like have to compliment is the balcony because I, I love that you can, you know, sit outside and enjoy some fresh air. So they have a decent sized balcony here as well. So you can do a little sitting area here if you wanted. And then just you get a nice view of the area. It's mostly uh, buildings that are being completed and a bit of greenery. Oh, this is beautiful. And they have some like really nice lights just lined up here as well. So I can imagine what that would look like at night. That, that would be pretty. So the second bedroom is right across from the room that I just showed you. It's pretty much the same. This one is slightly, um, actually it's the same. It's pretty much the same size and everything. So this is what this room looks like. Again, decent size. You can easily have a queen or king bed and still have enough space for nightstands and all that. They have a walk-in closet in here as well. It's quite similar to the other one, just that I think this one is slightly smaller than the first one that I showed you, but it's still, you know, enough room. The, the design of it is the same, it's just that the space around it is not as much as it was in the other bedroom. And then again, they have a bathroom in here as well. So this again has the same fittings as the other one, toilets, sink, shower, but this is a little smaller than the first one, so there's no space for a bathtub, but it's still decent size. Okay, let's check out the balcony for this bedroom as well. Okay, so this bedroom has a balcony as well. Like I said earlier on, this balcony is also slightly smaller than the one we saw in the first bedroom. So I presume that room is the primary bedroom and then this is the secondary bedroom, but it's still a very decent size. I mean, you can do enough with it. Um, you can still have chairs, pots, plants, whatever, and you still get a decent view of the town that you're in. 
mostly uncompleted buildings and some greenery as well all right so before i wrap up this video i and i tell you about the pricing i want you guys to let me know what you think about this house let me know do you like it what's what's your favorite thing about it if you do like it um, i want to continue to bring you guys a variety of options when it comes to what's available with housing here in ghana so if i know your feedback then it'll help me to you know uh, plan my uh, future videos when it comes to homes that are available here for sale because clearly there's a lot of you that are looking to purchase or invest in Ghana or live here at a point in time okay guys enough of my rambling let's go so I can tell you about the pricing of this place so this home is going for dun 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 <laughs> it's going for 115,000 US dollars if you guys are interested you can contact me on the numbers displayed on the screen or my information will also be in the description box below but this is a beautiful home very very spacious and very very well done if you want to inquire or if you have any questions about it all my information will be there like i mentioned earlier on all right guys don't forget to give me a thumbs up so i know you guys have enjoyed this video and i can continue to bring you more and more real estate content don't forget to follow your bliss soul now life is short. Follow your bliss. Na ni paye den. Follow your bliss. Na di ebe si via ye. And follow your bliss. Na den ne mada. Take care, guys. I'll see you in the next one. Bye.